Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, if this is the first time you've seen me, my name is Sharon and I do all things anti-aging. And uh, if you watch the video and you enjoy it, please consider subscribing for all things anti-aging. Anyway, I have been on holiday. I have a, a bit of a, a colour around me, but I had sent away for my perfect foundation and it's came and it is in the colour light because obviously before the tan my skin was lighter. They also send you with this an application brush and uh, it's synthetic and uh, it's a very handy little thing to have. Um, so we'll just open the box. Here it's here. Comes out like that. Has a lid and a pump action. Um, and of course that is the box. Now what does it say on the back? I'll have a little read. It says, uh, my perfect foundation blends effortly into you, your complexion. Its weightless formula works to blur imperfection, minimize the appearance of pores and promote a smooth, flawless finish. And it just says apply a moisturizer or a primer as usual. Um, and then obviously you can apply your foundation. So I'm going to apply what I normally do. I normally like, you know me, hyaluronic acid, but I apply it on a damp face. Just a little squirt there. And I apply my hyaluronic acid. Now, my face, I'll tell you now, because of the tan, it is darker in some areas and lighter in others. And if you can see my forehead there, I had uh, it blistered, even though I was wearing uh, an anti-aging sunscreen factor 30. You know when you're sweating and you're sort of uh, dabbing your brow with tissue, I must have been rubbing off the, the sunscreen and that's why my forehead got bumped. Even though I was applying it, but I was still wiping away. So that is the problem. Now, we're really going to put this My Perfect Foundation to test because my forehead is very red and of course, some areas are more redder than others. Um, now I did get this in light. Um, it's not my color at the moment, but it will be once this fades. Um, so I know when I apply it, you know, you're going to be thinking that's far too light for you. Of course it is because I, um, I have a tan, but I'm, this is not an all year round tan. Now I'm going to apply my moisturizer. Now it is the evening time, so I'm going to apply my Perfect Night. So we'll get that applied to my skin. So it comes in a little pump action as well. Everything is pump action. Now this is all, um, it is, all this stuff is, is suitable for sensitive skin. So I'll just apply the moisturizer. And of course you can apply your eye cream. I need a lot of moisturiser at the minute. You know when you get a tan and your skin is, seems a bit uh, dehydrated. So I can apply an eye cream as well, which I'll just do now. I can get it opened. So that's me, I will have applied everything. Just put that on there. We'll make this quick. I know I'm rubbing, but I'm doing it in very, very gently. Never be forceful when it comes to your under eye area. So that's that. So we'll give that just a wee minute for the moisturise and hyaluronic acid in the eye cream just to soak into my skin, and then we're going to apply our moisturiser. Now here I have my perfect foundation. Like I said, a little pump action. I have my beauty blender, which is damp. I'm going to put a couple of pumps onto the back of my hand and just dab that in. Now, obviously, like I said, I have a tan, I've been abroad. Um, it's not my color as just now it will be when this fades. And like I was also saying, I have quite a few really, really red marks in my head and some darker than, redder than others. So we're going to definitely put my perfect foundation to the test. And I'm going to see how it feels on the skin. Does it feel heavy, thick? Does it feel light? We'll soon see, so let's go. 
Now, I am no makeup guru by any stretch of the imagination. Now, my skin is very red at the minute because um, I've just been tanned and uh, I'm still not at the tanned stage. It's still that ready brown colour. So let's just see. I'll just put another wee bit on there. Oops. Then I'm knocking the mic down. But that's just me. You know what I'm like. Well, putting it on. I'm not going to lie, you don't think that there's anything on your skin at all. It actually feels like, like a moisturiser, which is fabulous. When you get something like this that actually feels like a moisturiser, that is brilliant. Now, do forgive me, I am definitely no beauty guru. Now, this is why I like to do these things because there are some people out there, just like myself, that isn't actually very good at applying makeup. But, you know, they, they put it on if they're going anywhere, going for a wee night out, and they might only wear makeup once in a blue moon. So here we go. Just dab that on. actually dabbed it off yeah now I know it doesn't look the best because my skin is so much darker now I actually feel that I should rub this in because it actually does feel like a moisturizer it's so lightweight. Um, like I said, it may look a bit strange on me because it's not my colour at this moment. Because my skin, it's like someone with very dark skin and wearing an ivory moisturiser. It's just not going to work. But I am telling you, you can see this, the difference in the, the skin tone. I'm telling you now, it feels absolutely amazing. I still got quite a bit left in my hand um, just swipe that up put a little more on that because I was very red and sore looking up there and I'm not going to lie it was very sore coverage wise I suppose you could build it up but if you are just doing a daytime look you could just apply one one coat uh, if you're going out in the evening, you know, for people that do wear makeup, you can build this up. But um, then I'm rubbing it off. This is very difficult at the moment because I'm at that age, I'm going through the menopause, I'm sweating like mad. I'm trying to show you how this looks. And I feel personally, I'm not doing any justice um, for the application but it feels brilliant. My skin was all different colours. I had darker colours here, a wee bit lighter somewhere else, uh, all red here, um, even here was a bit darker. I, I was like a patchwork quilt and it does, does even out. It does even the skin tone out. It's taken away all that sore redness that I had and this one here was blistering, it was very red. Um, I actually like it. It doesn't feel like foundation, I'm not gonna lie. It feels like you've just applied a moisturizer. It does say on the box, lightweight, and it is lightweight. It, is, it feels really, really good. Now this is from the company My Perfect Cosmetics. The name of the foundation that I'm using is My Perfect Foundation, um, obviously. It's not my tone at the moment, but it will be. Um, 
I really, really, I don't feel like I've gotten on my skin except moisturiser. Do I recommend it? If you don't want that heavy, clogged, poor feeling that you do get when some people are applying really thick, thick moist, um, mo not moisturiser, sorry, foundations, it doesn't work that way. This is so lightweight, it feels like a moisturiser. A uh, big thumbs up to My Perfect Cosmetics for doing another brilliant job on their product. And, um, okay, I'm a different colour because I'm just back from Tenerife, but somewhere along the line when this fades, this is going to look a lot better on me. And, uh, and if I can use this and it's taking away different skin tones that I have in my face, all the redness, it has a big thumbs up for me. So anyway guys, hope you liked the video and um, like and subscribe if you like it and I'll talk to you soon. Take care, bye.